Hey guys, this is your boy Dino aka DLP here and welcome back to another video to my channel. Today guys, yes, as you can see from the title, it's been a while guys since I've done this uh, series, an episode on the series. Uh, yeah, I'm back with another DRP anime review series guys, a uh, review for the series. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a DRP anime review. Uh, reason why I had so much of a hard time was because I had a lot of animes to react to. Now, when I say a lot of animes, uh, I was reacting to two different animes at the same time and I reacted to animes that were, you know, ongoing. Two animes, being Black Clover, My Hero Academia and then uh, two animes at the same time. So, obviously you guys, you know, you know, said that your progression on animes are a little slower than usual. So, obviously you saw my video on how I said I was going to go about dealing with it. And, um, as you guys saw, saw today, uh, on an earlier video, that I have now finished Blue Exorcist, uh, this is a reaction, the series, the anime reaction series as a well. whole. So now that Blue Exorcist is actually out of the way, I can go ahead and focus on an assassination classroom, like solely on it. And now I can also go ahead and start doing more of these DLP anime review series, uh, since I can watch anime outside of uh, YouTube now. So this was an anime that I actually watched around the time uh, when I was on the second season of Blue Exorcist I started watching this anime. It was an anime that actually had my grabbed eye attention really well because of how the synopsis was and uh, the anime is none other than Kokoro Connect. I don't know what the Japanese name of it but obviously uh, the anime was just called Kokoro Connect and it revolves around five people. Uh, let me just uh, let me just, <laughs> I'll sort one thing out guys, just give me a second, I'll come back in there. Hey guys, I'm back right now, so sorry about that. But yeah, th today uh, I'll be going ahead and reviewing the anime Kokoro Connect, which revolves around these five characters here, as you can see. Uh, this one, he seems to be uh, narrating uh, the story from what I can see, and his name's Taichi. I feel like, well, I can't say that he is the protagonist because it does revolve around these five characters. But obviously, since he's narrating the anime, I just say, yeah, he's the protagonist. But yeah, it revolves, it revolves around these five characters in school. These guys all go to high school and they're in a club called the STSU club. What, what club do they call it? Uh... From, yeah, they are, they uh, they got together and they banded together a uh, group, a society called the Student Cultural Society, or they call it STUCS. STUCS, basically STU being student, and CS means cultural society. Uh, and uh, yeah, as you can see, the club consists of Tai Chi. Tai Chi is the guy right to the right here. Uh, so there's one guy to the left, and there's one guy to the right who's closer to closer to. So that's Taichi right here, and next to him is a girl called uh, Himako, I believe it's Himako, um, uh, yeah, uh, Himako Inaba, that's her name, Himako Inaba, and she's Yori, Yori is the one who's just balancing on this pool right now, and she, uh, and then this guy right now, here is uh, Kiriyama, uh, and uh, this girl right here is probably a karate martial arts master, Aoki, oh uh, wait, Aoki? No, 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 Aoki Kiriyama is this guy right here, and she's called, what is she called again? Yeah, Aoki is, the, yeah, she is, no, no, wait, yeah, Yui Kiriyama is the girl, wow, well, getting these names mixed up now, so that's Taichi, right here, the guy to the front, the guy at the back is, uh, Aoki, and then this girl right here is, uh, Yori, and she's Inaba, and then she's Yui. Uh, so yeah, finally I've got the names right. So it revolves around these five characters. Uh, one day, this was this was actually a very uh, unique story. So one day, um, Aoki and Yui. So Aoki and Yui. So Yui is the one there with the yellow sweater tied around her, and Aoki is the one behind her. So these two people, uh, they actually um, they experience a really bizarre incident where. Without any, you know, without any warning to them, without any, like, what do you say, warning and or foreshadowing anything that's coming, uh, they ended up switching bodies. For even though it was a short period of time, they ended up switching bodies. So Aoki went into Yui's body and Yui went into Aoki's body. And uh, this was during the night when they slept and they woke up, they were in different rooms. And as they saw each other in the mirror, they were like, We switched bodies. Now, obviously, 
they uh, when they went and told the others, the others were like, "Come on, that's bullshit." You know, you know that ain't gonna happen. And uh, obviously, they reverted back, but that was on the same night. So these guys told these uh, the other three, and the other three didn't really believe them. Later on, uh, Yori ends up uh, switching bodies with Taichi, and Taichi ends up switching bodies with uh, Yori right there. So. They ended up finding out, okay, yeah, she. these two are telling the truth. They did end up changing bodies. Now, these guys don't know why they're changing bodies like this, you know. So every now and then, without warning, they end up changing bodies, bam, like that. And it causes them a lot of problems. <laughs> and it's kind of funny, obviously, within the first three episodes, the way the things that was happening was quite funny. Um, but they don't know the cause of this and why it's happening to them. Uh, and it only happens to these five particular people, that's the thing. It happens to these five particular people, and uh, as this whole phenomenon, they call it, sup they, it, it is kind of supernatural if you think in a way. Uh, this phenomenon, ke it keeps on con continuing randomly uh, amongst the five. Sometimes there's two people switching bodies, sometimes three people ended up switching bodies, it was crazy. Um, and um, obviously, even though at the start, when they were switching bodies at the start, they it was kind of funny, but as it progressed they realized it wasn't funny anymore I and mean, it wasn't all just like you know fun and games really uh, they ended up um, they end up encountering a guy called hot seed now hot seed in order to communicate with these five people he actually had to take over uh, someone else's body uh, a teacher called mr. goto and mr. goto is actually like the Advisor for this club or something who never turns up, but he heart seed is like gets into Mr. Goto's body if, they, if he wants to discuss something with these guys. And Mr. Heart seed is pretty much the cause of this whole phenomenon of them changing bodies and stuff. And um, now, you know, now that they're forced, you know. You know, the reason why he does this is because he he wants some entertainment. So he wants to be entertained. So obviously by switching bodies like this, they're gonna, these guys end up revealing, um, you know, eventually when strong, you know, when supernatural phenomenons happen, uh, you know, the other friends, uh, the friends who end up switching bodies, they actually end up finding the hidden secrets of the other person and emotional scars, like what their, their greatest fear, the hidden secrets that they haven't they haven't told anyone which could you know if they once they do find out that stuff it becomes very uncomfortable and it causes a lot of conflict within the you know within these five friends which ends up uh, which could end up tearing up the SDUCS and their friendship apart both the society and their friendship apart and obviously these guys what these guys do is that these five friends they you know they're like oh wait we can't give give we can't give Hartsey what he wants, you know, and they end up, you know, bonding together, staying together, no matter, staying strong, no matter what happens. And eventually, um, you know, Mr. Um, well, Mr. Goto or Miss uh, Heartseed, which is inside Mr. Goto, was like, you know what, it's not fun anymore. I'll get, you know what, this phenomenon will stop right now. Uh, so he ended up stopping the pheno phenomenon where these guys ended up changing bodies. So he can actually control. Uh, these phenomenons and stuff when it happens and when it doesn't so he ended up permanently stopping it and everything went well after a while but in the process of changing bodies people ended up finding out uh, hidden secrets and fears of you know like the, for example this girl right here Yuri uh, who's a martial arts master she actually has a big fear of guys getting close to the guys or you know having you know, you know trying to even touch them she's very scared of that because of her past experiences apparently she was she was uh, assaulted sexually by a guy and she she escaped from it but that left her with a big scar and when someone switches to her body um, they end up feeling the same fear and their legs and hands start shaking so they'll end up they will end up realizing okay Yui's got a fear and they don't know what exactly that is because of the past, past experience only she knows that but obviously someone who switches to her body would experience the same fear like physically uh, as Yui would do which is actually really interesting so um, but yeah everything got sorted out uh, and uh, this guy ends up stopping the phenomenon with switching bodies however you know time passes by Heartseed comes back but Heartseed 
um, it's not even hot seed. Uh, another person ends up, um, you know, hot seed doesn't hot seed. Uh, did go into Mr. Goto's body to communicate with these guys, but that's not the only body he can go into. He can go to pretty much anyone's body and then do that. Um, and he ended up, there's uh, another person came out. It wasn't Hot Seed at all, it was someone totally different who actually encountered Tai Chi himself. He, this person only encountered Tai Chi by going into Tai Chi's sister's body, and he called himself Hot Seed number two. Now he told uh, Tai Chi, or she, because it's inside Tai Chi's sister. Uh, the hot seed said, hot seed number two said to Tai Chi, okay, there will be another phenomenon that will be taking place right now from today onwards, where uh, every 12 o'clock at noon, um, two people from the five will shrink size, like as in shrink in age, so they will become younger uh, from 12 o'clock and then from 12 o'clock noon till five in the evening. So obviously they'll be there for five. They'll be um, they'll be in that form for the duration of five hours, and you need to make sure you take care of them. Now, since he spoke to Tai Chi, Tai Chi was the only person that wasn't affected by this. Only the other four was affected. So, um, and Hot Seed Number Two also told Tai Chi, "Yeah, make sure you have to look after them for the duration of this phenomenon." However, if we end up telling anyone about this phenomenon because he's only telling Tai Chi and he goes you can't tell anybody else that I uh, that you encountered someone like me hot seed number two and he can't tell them about this mission if well about this phenomenon if you do tell them about this phenomenon then uh, there will be consequences and uh, yeah they said uh, and uh, apparently the and you know the, it won't stop basically the phenomenon so obviously Tai Chi knows this and obviously uh, suddenly these guys, you know, these four start, um, you know, shrinking in size and age uh, every day from 12 o'clock to 5 and eventually, uh, you know, Inaba, uh, who's, you know, Inaba is not really stupid in this anime, she was kind of like, you know what, Tai Chi, you, you're the only person who's not affected by this, what's going on, you know, you, you know you're hiding something because he kind of slipped during the... Uh, while, while he was talking about something, he kind of slipped it out, and he was like, shit. And he had to eventually tell them, and... As the moment he told the others, uh, I think Heart Seed number two went to someone, one of the friends' body, and said, you know what, I told you not to tell anyone, now you have to face the consequences. And suddenly, people started, the friends started um, having, like, changes in, they started shrinking, um, like, in age and size. Uh, without warning in randomized times rather than a fixed time between 12 to 5 It was like different random times right now, and it was really hard to contain it And it but eventually the friends got by and they you know, they they stuck together the, They showed that their bond is great that great enough, you know, they're not gonna give you know Heartseed basically wants entertainment and obviously if the friends start to get a lot of conflict and you know, it causes drama, arguments, and stuff like that. To Heartsey, that's pretty much entertainment. So they don't, they don't want to give that to him. So obviously, they stuck by, and Heartsey was like, "All right, this phenomenon will stop as well now." Uh, and he just goes off, and a few days goes by, and then he brings out another phenomenon. I'm like, "Bro, what else are you gonna do?" This one was the most fucked up one I've seen. All right, it's called emotional transmitter. Now, emotional transmitter is a phenomenon right here. Uh, where the others will be able to hear what one person's thinking. So let's just say, uh, okay, take me and my little sister. You guys saw her on stream. Whoever was on the stream would have seen my little sister. So take my little sister and me. Let's say we both are talking, and then suddenly I thought of something about my sister. What I think on about my sister, what my thoughts on what I was thinking about my sister, that thought will be transmitted to Lakshi. Oh, that's my little sister's name, Lakshi. Uh, so she, um, the the thought of what I was thinking about my little sister, that thought will be transmitted to my little sister, so she could be able to hear what I was thinking in my head about her. So obviously you can't say one thing to a person, but what you actually think about them would be inside of you, and you keep it there. But because of emotional transmitter, they'll still be able to hear it. So let's just say you talk to someone you don't like, 
but you you don't actually say you you say something else nice but inside you are you, you you actually think how you actually feel about them but because of emotional transmitter they'll be able to hear that and that was kind of like the trigger to breaking down uh the friendships like at certain points these guys started distancing themselves from each other and shit just went flying up the air and i was like bruh that is the most fucked up phenomenon I've seen from Heartsea, the emotional transmitter. It was awful. It was absolutely awful. Um, like Iori, this girl right here, uh, who's, you know, um, you know, balancing on a, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. Balancing on the whatnot is. Um, she's always a cheerful person, but she has this um, background story where she always has to wear a certain mask depending on who she's talking to, I always have to change because apparently the mother has a lot of boyfriends slash husbands slash exes. So she has to always change considering who she's talking to and stuff. And it's very taxing to her. And obviously, because of this whole emotional transmitter thing, she just broke down. She can't be asked anymore. She started being cold to everyone. And she started distancing herself. Everyone was just... Everyone was just depressed as hell. Even now, dude, I was watching this anime and I was depressed myself. I was like, yo, emotional transmitter. Yo, that is crazy. That is like the most messed up thing you could ever do, Hot Seed. And like, it was really, really bad. So, um, yeah, and obviously, eventually, however, eventually, even though things went really bad, uh, they ended up patching things up. And that was kind of like the last few episodes them patching things up from this whole emotional transmitter thing and then you know Heartseed comes back and it's like all right you know I took care of Heartseed number two uh, from the last phenomenon you don't need to worry about this person uh, and then Heartseed number one goes you know what you know you guys have grown a lot it's not fun for me anymore so I'm gonna stop this phenomenon of emotional transmitter so he ends up stopping this emotional transmitter phenomenon and everybody are now a lot stronger because you know even though these phenomenons has revealed uh, the secret their dark secrets their huge fears and um, even their crushes really because cause of emotional transmitter um, uh, Tai Chi well Tai Chi already knew before this so before the whole emotional transmitter thing Tai Chi knew that uh, Inaban and Yori likes him and these two spoke to each other and they were like, all right, you know, you know, whoever gets him, you know, fair play. You know, so they were kind of in disagreement, but these two don't know about that. And through emotional transmitter, these two end up finding out that these two girls like him at the same time. So it was kind of, it was kind of like, it's kind of like a really uncomfortable feeling. Emotional transmitter has really put everyone into like this uncomfortable stage. Uh, but, you know, like I said, they managed to get over it. And in the last episode, they patched things up fully. And, you know, Heartseed says, you know, I'm going to get rid of, you know, the whole uh, emotional transmitter phenomenon now. And, yeah, he just goes away. And uh, these guys, you know, they, they just, they realize they are, even though that these phenomenons really put them in, you know, a really low state. Uh, they are now stronger by it. You know, the friends now know each other, like, to the core. You know, you can't say you know a friend. You, let's just, you can always say that you know your best friend. But there's always something a best friend could hide from me, like their darker secrets, their biggest fear. Like there's always something that, you know, they will, wouldn't be able to tell anyone, even their best friends. So because of this whole phenomenon thing, these guys have literally found out everything that, uh, that these friends know within each other. Their darker secrets, fears, um, what they actually think of each other and stuff like that. So because they know all of that, they're now bonded even more than before. Uh, they're now even closer friends, much stronger together now, and yeah, they just go on their go on with their own normal lives, and uh, they are. But then at the same time, even though they are in, going on their own normal lives, uh, they also will keep their guard up in case Heartseed comes back. Because um, in the last episode, they didn't really, uh, you know, when the anime finished, they didn't really conclude it with the fact like, okay, Heartseed's going away forever. You know, you know, the reason why he's here in the first place, the reason why he exists is the fact that these five people are very interesting to him. And he finds these five people very intriguing, and which is why he put these phenomenons and he finds it entertaining. 
Now, the last episode didn't really uh, show that he was like, oh, okay, you guys are boring me now. I won't come back to you ever again. And, like, he just vanishes. He No, he doesn't say that. He just said, you know what? I'm getting rid of the phenomenon of the emotional transmitter. You guys have really grown. You know, it's my now is my time, you know, to take my leave, I'll be back. And so, well, he didn't exactly say he was back, but he didn't exactly say he was leaving permanently as well. So, they they ended the anime off by saying, they ended the anime off uh, pretty much saying that, you know, Heartseed would come back with another phenomenon, and when that happens, uh, these five friends will stay together strong and overcome that barrier. That's basically what this was. Uh, this anime, um, it wasn't a definitive finish, but it was kind of like okay, you know, it's it, it to me. I accepted it because it was just a really unique anime. You know, seeing someone use such phenomenons like this to really stir up and split apart, you know, a good friendship because of these phenomenons. Yo, especially the emotional transmitter. That I was just like, bruh, yo, that is mad. That is mad. So. But that that's what made me get this into this anime so much, because uh, it was just a really unique story. You know, this whole I really like I said before, I really am interested in uh, animes with the supernatural genre in it, and this anime just had that. I read the synopsis and I was like, wow, that sounds interesting. I gotta check this out. So uh, yeah, that's Kokoro Connect for you guys. I don't know if you guys have watched it. I watched it in English dubs, of course. If you guys have watched it, please comment in the section below and tell me what you guys thought of it as well. Uh, this anime... It had its flaws, alright? You know, now I'm not gonna say... I'm not gonna say that this anime was perfect. The story definitely did have like a 10 out of 10 to me. I don't know, I would get... Oh. The, the story was definitely there. I, wouldn't, I don't know if I would give it a 10. I'll give it a strong... I'll give it a strong 9 though, it was just really good, it's not one of these typical stories you would see though. The art and animation was beautiful, I'd give it a solid 9 as well. Sound was also good as well, like the dubs was actually pretty nice, it was pretty cool. Characters were very likeable, very different characters, uh, 5 very different characters I must say. Uh, what, you know, like this girl with martial arts and this guy who's always crazy about Yui and this, you know, always cheerful. Uh, Yori and then there's Inaban who's always like yeah 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 I know this and that and Taiji the protagonist is always uh, nice you know he doesn't want to say anything that hurts people he always wants to help people when he sees someone that needs help you go and do it straight away so five different very different characters uh, in terms of personality you know being as friends and then facing all of this together it was it was a really nice anime to watch so uh, overall I would give this anime an 8 I would give this anime 8 slash 9. Uh, I, I definitely enjoyed it. In terms of entertainment wise, it was amazing. Definitely amazing. What do you guys think though? Obviously, people have different opinions to it, so I'm open to your opinions on what you guys think of it as well. So on that note, I end the video right here guys. Thank you so much for watching my video on me uh, talking about, you know, me on another video of the RP Anime Review talking about Kokoro Connect. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you guys did enjoy today's video, then smash! The like button, comment and share, do all those good things to see more content on me doing more DRP anime reviews in the future. Now that I've finished Blue Exorcist, I'll be concentrating on uh, Assassination Classroom only. It gives me time to watch anime outside of YouTube now. So yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and enjoy the DRP guild today. So you won't miss a single video from my channel guys, whether it's gaming videos, whether it's reaction videos, or whether it's live streams. So as always guys, this is your boy Dino signing out, and have a nice day, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video guys. So until then, peace.